coffee and fish? Dude, you're a m Serious, is that too, can you say on We've ET? Got, we can bleep that stuff out. It's, it's and whatever. There won't be much left. Kirsty, fighting mad. My controversial new interview with the star, the talk of GMA. Kirstie Alley now slamming the store and its controversial CEO in an exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight. In controversial statements, Abercrombie and Fitch CEO Mike Jeffries reportedly told the online publication Business Insider on May 3rd that he doesn't want larger people shopping in his store. He wants thin and beautiful people. He's the CEO. What a He says about that he wants Abercrombie, Abercrombie clothes are for people who are cool and who look a certain way and are beautiful and who are thin and, and blah, 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 blah. He goes on and on and on. That would make me never buy anything from Abercrombie. The CEO's comments set off a social media firestorm, one that Kirstie is more than eager to join. Today, she tweeted, I don't care if A&F sells above size 10. The point is their CEO took a stand against the coolness of above size 10 kids. Protest movements and boycotts of the famous brand are underway, including this one in Chicago, along with a YouTube campaign to Fitch the Homeless. Find all the Abercrombie and Fitch clothes you mistakenly purchased and give them away to your local homeless shelter. Even if I was cool and thin, and I've got two kids in that bracket, that they will never walk in those doors because of his view of people. Forget women. This view, view of just people. We reached out to Abercrombie and Fitch for comment. They did not respond by our broadcast deadline. As for Kirsty, we have more ahead. How she opened the door for Melissa McCarthy, Rebel Wilson, and the plus size stars in prime time. Does she think it's funnier to be fat? You may be surprised by Kirsty's answer. But right now, Brooke Anderson has more details.